Welcome back to the webcast for our 11th Starlink mission. We had an on-time liftoff at 10.31 a.m. Eastern Time from Cape Canaveral, Florida for a sixth mission for this particular first stage. We landed it successfully on our drone ship. And there, as you can see on your screen, we successfully caught one of the fairing halves. Uh, that is a recovery vessel, Ms. Tree, caught that out of the air. The second fairing half made a soft water landing, so Ms. Chief is en route to scoop it out of the ocean. And before we went for a break, we saw the successful deployment of the three SkySat satellites for our customer Planet, uh, which were ride-sharing along with Starlink. These three SkySats will be joining the 18 already on orbit and will complete Planet's fleet of 21 satellites and make it the largest high-resolution fleet of satellites in orbit to date. So uh, here in just a couple of seconds, we will be deploying our 58 Starlink satellites, which will be joining the nearly 600 that are on orbit. Now, there is a chance, and it looks like, we, yeah, I was just going to say that... Starlink uh, tension rod separation confirmed. We have an expected loss of signal um, over our ground station. There we go. We can see the visual confirmation of Starlink deployment. Like I said before, those 58 Starlinks will be joining 600 that are already on orbit. And shortly, they will be deploying their solar arrays. Over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves out using the momentum created by Starlink the second stage. Complete. Like I said, we spun it along its central axis to provide the momentum required for those satellites to space out, as you can see there. So they'll be using their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit of 550 kilometers above Earth. And we'll begin to start beaming down high-speed internet to us Earthlings. And with that wonderful view of those Starlink satellites floating out into space, we will now bring our webcast to a close this morning. We'd like to thank our customer Planet for their continued support riding on board Falcon 9, as well as the FAA and the 45th Space Wing for supporting today's mission.